if you don't have leaders who care, you've got to start small at the lower levels. Mm -hmm. Simply that. Find a team of, find a leader that you've worked with who's got a team and say, hey, I'd be willing to invest my time to help your team if you're up to play it and experiment with it and do it with them and then find another team and find another team. It just mm -hmm. takes longer, but it's going to make a bigger difference over time. I was asking you how, uh, how do you um, promote this, uh, these activities and uh, highlight the importance of the work in this area in these challenging times for the organizations, the corporations where that is not necessarily a priority nowadays. It's, it's almost impossible, unfortunately, for people who don't believe that this is important, we're not going to be able to change their minds very quickly, mm -hmm. which sucks. But I think there's things we can do. But ultimately, the culture of the organization comes down to the leaders. And if the leaders don't want to focus on this right now, the culture is going to suffer, like you say. And it's very difficult for us to convince them because they have deeply held beliefs about why that is the case or why they believe that. But I think that makes it even more important that we do like guerrilla marketing and we and we just do small teams and we just work at small fringes and get people talking about it internally so then it filters its way up. Because mm -hmm. if you got five teams of 10 all doing it, maybe in their own time, they're gonna start talking about it and people are gonna start hearing about it and then their leaders are gonna go, what's that thing you guys are doing down there? And so we've got to start here at smaller levels like guerrilla marketing or like guerrilla warfare, right? Smaller pockets of people who do care and then filter up that way rather than this way. Because if those leaders don't care, us just telling them is not gonna work because yeah. they've got competing priorities. They've got, their, they've got other emotions that are driving how they're behaving. They've got reasons for it that they believe are valid. I know, I believe that those reasons aren't valid because of uh, what we talked about. But you, you, the only way to do that right now will be to work on at smaller teams, like small teams. That's harder, it's more difficult, but it's gonna have a bigger impact mm -hmm. because you'll waste a lot of energy and time trying to convince these people <laughs> and it won't work. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. If you don't have leaders who care, you've got to start small at the lower levels. Mm -hmm. Simply that, find a team of, find a leader that you've worked with who's got a team and say, hey, I'd be willing to invest my time to help your team if you're up to play it and experiment with it and do it with them and then find another team and find another team. It just mm -hmm. takes longer, but it's gonna make a bigger difference over time. I wish I had a silver bullet to convince these people up here, but <laughs> it, it just doesn't exist. Uh,